Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to name alcohols. What are alcohols? In chemistry, an alcohol is any molecule with a hydroxyl group, that is, an OH group attached to a carbon atom. So for alcohols, the first thing you do is find the longest continuous chain that contains the OH bond. Number the chain from the end that is closest to the OH bond, and then identify and name substituents, if any. Replace the E, so as if you're naming an alkane, okay? The end of that alkane, remove the E and replace it with OL. Example one, you're given this compound and you're asked to name it. The first thing you do is identify your longest continuous chain. So for this particular one, we have this to be the longest continuous carbon chain, okay? Now, we're going to number this chain from the side that gives the OH a lower number. So we're gonna go from the left-hand side. So this is carbon one, two, three, and four. There are no substituents for this particular compound. Since there are no substituents, we're gonna go ahead and name it. On carbon two, we have the OH, okay? Now we have a total of four carbons. The preface for four carbons is BUT. And then remember for alcohols, you're gonna name it as if you're doing alkane, so that would be butane, but then you're going to remove this E and replace it with OL. But before that, we must mention the position of that OL because this OH can be on any of these carbons. Mentioning the position is very important. So this is going to be butane two, since the OH is on carbon two, so you're gonna say butane two and then all. That is the surface for alcohols, and that's the name, butane 2 all. This is the second example, and the first thing you will do is to identify your longest continuous chain, making sure that the OH group is included in the longest continuous chain. Secondly, number from the side that is closest to the OH. So if I'm looking at this, this side is closer to the OH than the other side. So I'm going to count from here. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. If I go three, four, five, counting towards the right side is much better than the left. Okay? So that means my longest continuous chain is from one to six. Now, every other thing attached is the substituent or branches. So this is a branch. This also is a branch. This is one, two, that's two carbon branch. And because of that, the name is going to be ethyl. This is one carbon branch, just one carbon, right? That is a methyl group. So we have the longest continuous chain identified. We've counted from the side that gives the OH a lower number. And we've also identified our substituents and named them. The last step will be to bring all this together. So the naming will start with the branches or the substituents. The branches are named in alphabetical order. So the E would come first. Now this ethyl group is attached to carbon three. So this carbon here, okay, is attached to carbon three, which means I'm gonna start my naming with three in front and then ethyl, just to acknowledge the position of that substituents. We move on to carbon five. This carbon five has the methyl group attached. So you're going to say five methyl and then you have six carbons as your longest continuous chain. So that will be HES and then AIN because this is an alcohol but then get rid of the E. Okay. So it's as if you're naming an alkane, you get rid of the E, and now 
the position of the OH carbon 2. And the OH itself, the surface is OL. So the name of this compound will be 3 ethyl 5 methyl hexen 2 all Now, for this example, we have multiple OH attached. So what you would do is, again, identify your longest continuous chain that includes all the OHs, and then count from the side that gives all of them the lowest numbers possible. So if we start from here, this is going to be one, this is two, three, four, five, then six. Now I'm going to count from the other side and see if that's better, okay? This is one, two, three, this will be four, five, and then six. Now, if we're counting from the right-hand side, it's going to give me a three, four, five as the position of the OHs. If I'm counting from the left, it's going to give me two, three, four, which is lower. So that means the left-hand side is better. Uh, sometimes it's not that obvious. You need to really do this numbering both sides just to see it for yourself and conclude. But for this one, it wasn't necessary because it's really obvious that this left-hand side is much better than the right-hand side. So we have our longest continuous chain to be has six carbons, that's has. So we're going to do has. And then, remember, if it's an alcohol, you're going to go ahead and just say hexane. Keep the E this time. Now we're going to put our positions. We have 2, 3, 4. Because you have three of them, you're going to make use of a preface try for three OHs. So that will be 2, 3, 4, try and then the OL comes in. So that is a triol, as in two, three, four, triol. If you have just two, it's gonna be diol. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you found this video helpful. Like, comment, bye, and see you in my next video.